Vanessa, next, next up, we have my girl, Vanessa Demopoulos. Vanessa, how you doing? By the way, listen, I, I, I'm honestly, and I'm a great guy. I, I, I'm a great guy, and I just, I love women. And, and you are, I would say, what signifies a woman. You're, you're effeminate, but you're also aggressive, and you're, you're beautiful, and you're, so flexible and and i just love your tenacity and your just will to just fucking win at all costs and i just want to say that i'm a big fan and uh if you want to reach out to me my instagram and twitter is right here at underscore or jt at I'm a fucking mess now <laughs> at uh i like you talking about food i just stumble over my words <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah go ahead but yeah vanessa versus uh kanako morato and go ahead angelo well, Vanessa DeMott was 9-5 and five overall. She is 3-2 and two in her last five. She's coming off that pretty one-sided loss to Carolina Kovashevich. She's taking on Kanako Murata, 12-2 and two overall. 4-1 and one in her last five, but she is coming back after two years away. Kanako Murata, the real deal, right? Two years away, I haven't seen her fight. I had to do my research, do all the tape, and I was like, oh, shit, she's pretty good. Did have that injury loss to Verna Jandaroba in her last fight. But outside of that, she's a great wrestler. Got good BJJ defense. Her striping can be sloppy, but she is jacked and powerful. And you could tell that those strikes land with some intent. She will stay in your face. She will keep coming forward. She does keep her cans, her hands low. But she, does constantly, she does constantly faint. She's always threatening takedowns. Always pretending she's going to take a shot, which gets people... Like, people can't settle in and they can't fight because the reality is they're worried that the much better high-level wrestler is going to shoot a takedown. She's tough. She's gritty. She has gas. She can definitely be a problem for a lot of people, assuming she's healthy. She's taking on Vanessa Demopoulos. Vanessa's a solid strike. Cans. <laughs> people were people trashed me in the comment section because I said Vanessa's got uh, good hands. Solid striker. She does. The fact, oh, 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 you guys are turds. She does have solid striking. Is it world class? No. Is it aggressive? Where it's supposed to be? Yes. She'll come forward. She'll land with some volume. She likes to fight inside the pocket. She doesn't really have a ton of power, but she does volume and she does have footwork. If it does get to the ground, she's got some solid grappling. She can make something happen. She's coming up that loss to Carolina Kovashevitz, where she could just not get her striking going and she did look flat. I love Kanako Murata in this spot. Um, the concern, obviously, is two years away. You just never know what somebody's going to look like after a long layoff. But she is young. She's only 30, I believe. And so two years away, like right then, that's not awful, right? She didn't lose the best years of her career. She is a high-level wrestler. She can come forward. She's got some power. I, I will assume that she's at least what she was two years ago in that version Kanako two years ago can beat Vanessa. I think Kanako gets it done. This line's taken off. It's becoming a bit unreasonable. I do have a parlay with her in it. I have called that parlay the I will regret this parlay because I may, just like with Tamir's Vidal. But I am very confident in Kanako Murata here. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Uh, speaking of parlays, I also <clears throat> have a parlay. It is called the um, either the, the, the DDD parlay, the Triple D parlay it is the diana de la rosa demopolis parlay and uh i, I think it's really gonna hit i actually kind of like vanessa in this fight and that's not even biased i mean it's gonna sound like it's a little bit biased <laughs> and i'm telling you right now when we get to the diana belbita that one is biased but this one is a little bit more <laughs> unbiased because when i'm watching Murata, first of all jack jenkins hey fucking Jack Jenkins, why don't you watch Murata and how she handled a broken arm versus Verona Janarobi in that fight. That thing was dangling the entire round and she was trying to fight through that injury. Jack Jenkins didn't even break his arm. He's like, me, we can't fight anymore. Murata handled that like a fucking G. They had to stop that fight for her. She just kept fighting with her arm just dangling. It was crazy. <laughs> but when I watch her fight, I understand that she's a wrestler. I'm not really impressed with her takedowns. I mean, those are very kind of just diving, single leg takedowns, doesn't always get them. Vanessa knows what she's doing in that department. In the striking, I'm like, whew. And I know that in her two years off, she also has been in Thailand, 
with Chevy doing all that stuff at, at, uh, at Tiger Muay Thai. I'm pretty sure from what I saw on the Instagram. So I have to imagine it's improved a little bit. But even improving from where she was, it's still a pretty big gap. So in the striking in this matchup, I think it's pretty 50-50. Not only is it 50-50, but Vanessa, even if she's not the better striker, you saw that in her last fight, she's willing to move forward. She's willing to take those shots. She's willing to work through kind of the, the technicalities of striking just to kind of make it dirty, just to try and land her shots. And in that kind of the way that she fights on the feet, I think that she can win the striking exchanges. So it comes down to Camerata get the takedowns, get the top control, and basically be boring for 15 minutes. Yeah, I think that she can probably get a takedown or two, but Vanessa is a girl that wants to, I mean, I know that she's an okay striker. I don't think she's as good a striker as you think she is, but she wants to be on the ground, and she doesn't mind being off her back on the ground, and finally, she's going to get to a girl that's going to not only take her down and be on top, but doesn't have the best top control. You saw that versus Verna. And maybe she's cleaned that up in the last couple years. And maybe that was a little bit of a weird situation. But she got armbarred against the fence in a position she should not have got armbarred in. And obviously she worked through it. She snapped her arm or whatever. But Vanessa is very, very slick off her back. Very flexible with the triangles, with the armbars, with the sweeps. I would not be surprised at all if it goes down to the ground, Vanessa's sweeping and finds a submission in this fight. I think one of the better bets for this card, and you can correct me if you feel different, is Vanessa inside the distance, decision no action. She's a tough girl. Murata's not really a finisher, and if she is a finisher, it's probably going to be in a, in a submission, but Vanessa's very good on the ground. I don't think she's going to knock her out or TKO her. And I think on the ground, the more dangerous fighter is going to be Vanessa Demopoulos. So I think inside the distance, decisional action is a great play. If she if she loses a decision, you get your money back. She's just out wrestled 15 minutes. But if she finds a submission, I think she's going to find uh, you're going to get paid in a big way. I think it's plus 195, something like that. Uh, I played it. And uh, I think that's one of the better plays. Vanessa, hey, me and you, look out. You know, that's a, that's a power couple if I've ever seen one. I mean, yeah, and you guys can share clothes. 5'2", 125 pounds. That's great. That's great. The um, DraftKings line is interesting. $8,900, $7,300. Obviously, very heavily juiced for Murata, assuming the takedowns is what they're expecting. The control is what they're expecting. $8,900 if Murata is going to get a whole bunch of takedowns and a whole bunch of control time. Potentially could be worth it. I agree with you. Uh, the Vanessa is super tough. I don't think there's going to be a finish here. And if there is, you're probably right. It would be on the Vanessa side because Kanako is going to come forward and just shoot takedowns and, and sort of ragdoll. And Vanessa is very tough. Um, that plus money for the inside the distance decision no action is not a bad bet because... It was plus 195. It's now plus it 180. Now? There you go. A little bit. There you go. Premium members saw it nice and early. Um yeah, I mean, I think Vanessa's probably this... I don't think she's worth it in DraftKings either, though. Because, A, I don't think she wins. And, B, she's not going to get takedowns. She's not going to get a knockdown. She's not, so we're just relying on significant strikes in a loss. And I would not be opinion. surprised either. And maybe I, maybe I am just a little bit of love drunk right now, Angelo. <laughs> but, when I, I mean, honestly, when I'm watching Murata strike and stuff, I, I could see a world, too, where Vanessa just kind of blitzes her, gets in her face... And just pop, 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 pop. And then she gets desperate. Maybe even like a, a fucking TKO situation with Vanessa, too. I she's like, got man, no I like power, Vanessa. Dude. I like. She's got I no I said power. a fucking TKO situation. Angel, when you're just like covering up and somebody just pop, pop, pop. Vanessa, no, I don't know. But, but Murata will just shoot. She'll just dive understand. in a lake. I don't think people understand the tenacity that Vanessa brings into every single fight. People are like, oh, my God. She's just doing it for the clout. She's just doing it. Fuck that that girl gets in there and fights for her fucking life and people need to start 100%. putting some fucking respect of Vanessa Demopoulos and she's going to show people how fucking tough she is in this fight when she finishes this girl in the second round at the 223 mark okay um i agree with most of that statement and people mentioning her prior career who gives a shit that doesn't matter. She does come in here. She fights her ass off. She's not a quitter. Good forward pressure. I, uh, we are split. You want to bet? I'm in love with this. Would you like to bet? Somebody super chatted and wanted me to start singing. That's, That's a thought. perfect opportunity. Yeah, we can fucking bet. Yeah, fucking bet. You want to put it on bet opening? Because last time I did that, you were like, oh, somebody took it before I could throw, make it. Throw and your I won that bet, on. by the way. Why don't you throw your parlay on bet? No, it'll be too expensive to throw your parlay on bet openly and I'll take the other side. But that'll be 
Yeah, that's a massive underdog parlay, so it'll it'll be too expensive on my side. Anyway, if you guys want to unlock all our bets nice and early, but more importantly, the tools, the insight, the information, all of that is available for only $10 a month at wewantpicks.com. And we have this comment from Jumbo Loco. He said, I've paid for Patreon bets in the past. I've gotten screwed, and I told myself I would never do it again, but this premium sounds tempting. Let me uh, talk to you very quickly. It's Jumbo. fucking... $10 a month. You're going to have a $10 parlay on this car that you know is going to miss. Pay the $10 a month. See what it's all about. Not only is it just, it's not just one card. It's $10 and we got three more. What, is it three more? I don't think we have a week. Yeah, no, we're so, on like a seven stretch. Yeah, so three like more cards to make it worth your money. I mean, come on. What the fuck are we doing? I agree with that sales pitch, but also we're not a Patreon. Patreon is like a stupid list. It's a, it's a Facebook page, basically. It's a list of text and maybe a picture or a link. It's stupid. This is a full-blown interactive website with everything you could ever want. You go to the website, you have me, Jacob, Pick Doctor, Artem, Runny Mouth. Five different pages to choose from with picks, bets, insight, raw notes. You're going to get round line leans for every single fight. You're going to get the optimizer. You're going to get the detailed data and metrics. You're going to get the line movement tracker. You're going to get DraftKings tools, FanDuel information, what? prize picks, underdog. It's, it's absolutely nuts. So what? the highlight here is even if I remove the bets from this entirely and it was just the tools and the insight, it's the best value in the game. Just that, just that alone. Click become a member, my man. Super and then we do have a $5 Chooper Chat. Chooper Chat. From Shevsky. Sing something for us, Jacob. Let's hear that advanced choir voice. I wasn't an advanced choir. Nobody, no, he, I don't think he believed. By the way, we love Shevsky. Shevsky is, is my guy. In the Discord, if you guys are not in the Discord, Discord is 100% free. Shevsky's in there giving out football plays every week that are just absolutely unreal. So we love Shevsky. But I was an advanced choir. I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. I was in choir. I, I don't know why you're laughing. I don't know why. You're Everything laughing. about you screams advanced choir, so I'm not thank surprised you. at all. Thank you. Everything. Yeah, you're, oh, you're welcome. Everything about you screams Justin Timberlake. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you for that. Sure, sure. But I was in choir, and we had to audition for advanced choir. You went and you sang in front of the three teachers. One of them was like the actual choir director and some other teachers. You went and sang individually, and I was handpicked, and I went around Indianapolis around the holidays, and I sang at malls. There was like 20 of us that were handpicked <laughs> out of like 150 people, and I sang at malls, and I've sang on stream before, and I'm not going to be one of these guys that just, you give me money and I start singing, but... At some point, I probably will break out in song. I might. I think I have something special for Deanna, to be honest with you. That's interesting. Do you remember the words to the Christmas song that Arthur would sing in the malls? Oh, hold on. Start talking about the next Super He Channel. did one, He did one know, for know, every, know, know. every religion. We also have $5 for Mushroom MMA. It's something like, uh, it's Christmas. Listening. Yeah, yeah. It's something like that. <laughs> Well, then they did, it's Hanukkah. Yeah, it's something like that. It's Kwanzaa. Uh, these are King of Queens references for everybody who doesn't know what the hell we're talking about. Uh, $5 Super Chat. Mushroom asked me to go get my lisp fixed. It is not a lisp. I just speak it far just too quickly. Hungry. 